there's a misconception that if you take away the lights, people are going to drive fast. Actually, it's the green light that encourages the speed, that licenses the aggression. If you take away the light and there's uncertainty at the junction, people naturally approach slowly and filter. Shared space is not new. It's the way streets have always been since we've had cities, since we've had streets. It's only in the last 50 or 60 years that we've believed it's important to segregate traffic from other aspects of life. The status quo isn't really an option. We looked at pedestrianisation, we looked at opening up side roads, and everything we looked at didn't actually do anything for Poynton. I can remember when we first sketched on a bit of paper this double roundel here, and it began to emerge as an idea, would this work? And at the time, so many people said that's impossible. We've had to reduce the, the lanes from two approach lanes to one. We had two lanes. The amount of time it takes for a pedestrian to cross the, the traffic means you have to have traffic signals. And as soon as you've got traffic signals, you've got a built-in delay factor. Well, I was a little bit sceptical at first about it um, when I heard that there were going to be no pavements or edges between the pavements and the road. Um, but I, I think it's working really well now. There is tactile paving, there's a contrast. We've provided different light uh, intensities to indicate where crossing might take place. Uh, and now we've got visibility blends around the lampposts. People with a physical disability, it's absolutely marvellous. I find um, all the traffic, uh, vans, cars, motorcycles, very, very courteous. And they all seem to stop the minute they see me. The advantages of shared space for blind people are the nice, wide, flat pavement, which is easier for guiding somebody along, plus the absence of curbs. We've had a lot more people from uh, out of town, young families who have not really considered the option of pointing because they probably didn't know about it. And then all of a sudden, we've got this fantastic shared space scheme. It, it's certainly made it a more pleasurable place to walk around. What this has done is to move forward our understanding of traffic and people uh, interface and the interaction and it's, and it's done so in a way that I hope will be a benefit not just for Poynton but for many other towns that don't have bypasses that have to cope with lots and lots of traffic and, and, and movement. What's better, bigger or smaller? Big so which would you rather have, a big tree house or a small tree house? If it's big enough, you can have a disco. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not complicated. Bigger is better. And AT&T has the nation's largest 4G network.